I appreciate your detailed thoughts today on all of the sectors and hope that helped tackle trading navigate the sectors themselves as well. And with that said, we're going to give the people what they want, Frankie. I like it. I like it. And Let's what they see. want is another oh, edition Sharks. of Frank Sharks. And Frankie, because this is your segment, you get to pick who goes first, me or you. Ooh, I get to pick. I'm going to make you go first because otherwise oh, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to throw out the one I like the most because I don't have a ton between the price action and the upcoming earnings over the next two weeks. It's going to be light, so I'm going to throw my favorite one out of right out of the gate. So I might as well mm. at least drag it on for a minute longer. Okay. So I'm going to give okay. it to you, sir. All right, all right. What am I going to do here if I only got two and I got to go first? And Frank's saving his first one for the first. Oh, you're not saving anything. You're, you're no, coming no, out I'm just firing. Yes, I'm coming right, out of my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go let's go i had a sarcastic comment that i'm going to keep in my own head right now on that comment yeah if you're going good first are you going good bull or good bear because i'm going good bull first going, okay i'll go bull too do you okay. got two bulls two bulls one bear or two bull uh one bull, i got two, two bulls bears. one bear the two bulls one bear okay i'll go i got one bull two bears because i already kind of gave the industrial one i liked Okay. All right. So I'm going to stay bull and I'm going to stay with Mark. Now, how we're going to play this game here today, Tackle, is remember, this is a little mini edition of Trade Masters, but with a little bit of change. Me and Frank don't compete. We agree on way too much. Yeah. So what <laughs> we simply try to do is we try to convince each other, right? But because now we have Coach Mark, who loves to disagree with both of us all the time. Yeah. True story. Our job is to try to convince him. You down, Frank? I'm 100% down. Let's okay. do this. All right. So I, I'm, I'm going to go first. And and since you're going good bull, I'm going to speak Mark's bull language. Okay. Mark's oh. called this. A, a, in fact, he said it today. I think Coach Mark has labeled this market a Campbell soup market for, for pretty much the last six weeks. I, I've heard him say it more than I, more times than I can count. I'm not going Campbell soup, but I'm going to go very safe, very conservative, and very staples. And I love what's happening on General Mills here. Uh, first and foremost, if finding constructive technical analysis in, in this market is very, very important. And it's not as easy as, as it looks here. But, but General Mills is holding up very, very well in the face of the volatility. And I love the cleanliness of the trigger. When you're looking at directional type price action, clean resistance areas i cannot tell you how important they are they stand out to traders they stand out to algorithms they stand out to my mom my dad they stand out to my child who can't even read a chart everybody loves clean charts general mills is very clean at the top there's not a clean there's not a lot of clean in this market but i do love general mills above 70 dollars got a little bit of a cup and handle type continuation feel to it and so it fought back after a little bit of a drop in earnings price but if you guys remember that earnings that earnings was good that earnings was good and we we're all like mm, that's a gap fill well, it did gap fill and then some, and now it's clinging on that $70. I love a breakout of $70 here. When you're talking about a stop loss, we're going to go intraday and we're going to try to identify where those support levels are from an intraday perspective. Number one, you got 68 and a half right here. It's acted as support numerous times. If you want to go a little bit deeper though, and I would recommend a little bit of range on stop losses, if you're going to take a direction, you got to match the volatility. Widen that out a little bit. In fact, one of the first eight, one of the first stop loss rules I ever learned was you take 1.1 times the ATR. And the reason you wanted to do that underneath your entry price is you always wanted to match the stop loss to a one ATR in the market, which means you would always take into account the current market volatility. And so when you see expanding volatility, you're going to, you're going to want to lower the position size, but give you a little bit more range here so that you don't get just ticked out on one random drop in price to 68. That's why I like 67 and a half here at the stop loss like it above 70 stop loss underneath 67 and a half again if you're more aggressive i do like the 68 and a half from an intraday perspective as well when you're looking at this on a weekly chart there's just nothing to see up there you got to go out to a little bit more time and so if we go out to a little bit more time you can see you got some topping action over here at about 73. On something like General Mills, a $3 price target with about a $3 risk, you got a one-to-one -one on T1. 
above 73 guys there's nothing there's yeah, nothing opened up. there's nothing nothing i would say 75 just because it's one of those significant whole numbers that does stand out to traders that gives you a two to one at t2 again if you use 68 and a half on a stop loss you got a great reward to risk ratio even using 67 and a half you got a decent one at two to one on t2 i like general mills here mark did i get you yes i like cheap trades right now and one of the things i like about general mills if i get that trigger cheap options uh you know the volatility right now buying options in a lot of areas of the market uh are really really expensive uh relative to uh you know uh, historical or recent things and vix you know up 27 is going to do that uh, volatility on staples companies are really 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 low so. uh general mills currently has a 21 percent apply volatility which is literally the it's nothing you know, and, mm -hmm. and so, Nothing. I mean, that, that one, two punch of preferred area of the market, if I get a trigger, I, I can take some cheap risk here. Uh, yeah, you got me on board on that. All right, Frankie, I'm one for one, brother. My goal is three for three. I know I like that's it. your goal as well. It, it is my goal. Gone, and if it, if it makes you feel any better, you got me. Maybe too. I'm in a favorable mood. And I feel like the queen right now. I feel like, yeah. Now you get to. You okay. Get to okay. okay. I, now I, we got to knock listen, him down. I can't I mean, handle this level of power. I'll this is too eventually. much power for Mark. It is this true. Is too much this, power. Is, this is the only time we're going to give Mark this power. I, but we're committed to, now. We're committed listen, now. You give Mark an just an inch of power. Look what happens to him. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I mean, I'll go all megalomaniac on you. I will. I know this about myself. He's here with no clothes. Let's go. Yeah, he he will. And you know what, Maddie, as you were going through General Mills, which I really do yeah, yeah. like, it got me to make an audible uh, within oh, the same space. Uh, within the same know? space, did yeah. You know? So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my other one. I can't get rid of him, but uh, I want to take a look at Procter and Gamble. I thought PG, bro. I thought PG. So let me give you my pitch here on Procter and Gamble, mm -hmm. Mark. Uh, number one, we just came through earnings, so earnings are behind us. Don't have to good worry. earnings too. And a good solid earnings yeah. report, right? The good solid earnings report. So good guidance. Number guidance one, good too. that's behind me. I don't have to worry about that for another couple of months, right? Which is always a plus. Uh, so there's my first sell. Uh, my next is, well, we had a decent response on earnings, but nothing dramatic and kind of worked right back into a very clean resistance level in that 165, 166 range. And it, nicely, it's taken at least a little bit of time there to, to cook a little bit, right, Maddie? And always, uh, I always appreciate that. So pretty clean entry, not overextended going into the breakout, but still, I think, a very clean, identifiable breakout. Now, as many people around tackle trading know, you know, I've been kind of, you know, harping on this one since that cup and handle breakout. Mm -hmm. And the everything that's happened in Procter & Gamble has led me to maintain the cup uh, portion of my breakout. It made the handle pretty easily, which is my target one, and it's more of a position trade for the uh, or target for the second target, which would be 180, uh, which is the old uh, the old cup itself as the target. Yeah, I see nothing in this chart to make me believe that it's not going to continue. This just looks like a continuation pattern. Yeah, it got choppy with the market around earnings, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Got a clean entry with a 180 target. Should be able to get uh, at least a two to one risk to reward ratio. Uh, if not a little Listen, bit better, depending on your stop loss uh, methodology. Yeah, and Frankie, breakouts on Procter in this trend have worked out. Like they, they just have the last breakout. When you're looking at these breakouts from a historical perspective, uh, you got to break out right there. You got to break out right there, right? You got to go to that breakout. So when you look at the last three breakouts, all of them pretty good breakouts too. Like I'm talking about the trend and the pattern going into the breakout. So all of them pretty decent breakouts. Two out of the last three played out. I like that. Breakouts look like strong. And but again, it's choppy underneath 165. But 165 gets clean. It gets mm -hmm. clean. And I do think it gets and once these things break out, look at the cleanliness of the chart once it breaks out. Once it breaks out. Even that clean. Yeah. Right. Then this is all market volatility. Yep. Earnings comes right back up into the exact same position. And so, it, it, yeah, it's choppy, choppy underneath 165, but there's context for that choppiness. I do think I do think it's clean at 165 and above, though. All right, Mark, did I get you? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like, I mean, it's clean. I mean, say, you know, same general principle, you know, and, and Procter and & Gamble, I mean, it's been, 
and it has nothing to do with that. You know, we've already commented on staples. Once I start seeing more proctors and gambles in different sectors, because right now mm-hmm. it's sell everything for like three straight days, right? Just, ah, you know, but there's a couple things, you know, counter training, catch your attention. When I start seeing that happen more and more in sectors and we start to see what we had the first couple weeks of the year, I'm going to start really paying attention to mm-hmm. uh, short-term bottom mechanics, you know, and, and you know, we don't have very much right now. It's been like everything, uh, but uh, you know, going to be paying attention to that. all right frankie we're one for one so I like far it. i am a benevolent we both, we both passed it gets a little bit more difficult though because i'm going bear okay i'm yeah, going that's... bear all right and i'm going down with bears very often i know you don't i hate and bears that, I, I know you don't i know you hate bears beings <laughs> which means i'm, I'm going to bring you back to back bears no, i'm not no. just going to come with one Listen, I'm gonna i don't come. mind the bear i'm, I'm fine trader listen I am Maximus, and I am ready to release the arrows of the bearish <laughs> trades here. I'm right. ready. It's onslaught. Let's we'll do get it. into upstart here in a second, though. All right. So let's go with, but I can't decide, guys. There's so many. There's so many. I'm going to go with, I, I'm just going to rapid fire three picks, okay? Okay. I'm going to rapid fire three, and then I'm going to tell you which one my pick is because we're not going to do all three given the fact that they're all in tech. Okay? Okay, okay. So these are all three tech plays, major violations of support that have yet to occur. Okay. So we're going to go with ASML. Now, $700 stands out. Let me get rid of my circles there, boys. We're going to go on a weekly chart here. $700 does stand out here stands out for a couple reasons. Number one, it stands out as a major, major, major area of support. As you can see, as old, defined by old resistance is now new support. You also have an M formation on the weekly chart. You have an M formation on the weekly chart. Look at the M here. Look at the lowering of resistance there. So within the pattern, you have a lowering of resistance against the backdrop of a double top this is the double bottom if you think this is overextended to the downside let me show you some tech plays over the last couple months that have done this and then violated it's just lagging 700 dollars. you break this there is nothing from a support level until you get to 600 and even at 600 i'm still looking at 500 here 500 stands out to me on the weekly chart so asml that's number one okay my second one. Oh, do you want me to judge this one first? No, no. I'm going to go them all. Yeah, well, give me a ranking. Give me a ranking on how well you like the uh, from a 1 to 10. 10, you love the bearish opportunity. 1, you hate everything about what I just said. I, I 10. This okay, thing it's, is it's te- good. This it's thing good. is textbook it's good. perfect. Okay, it's good. I agree. It's good. That's why I brought it. It's good. It is good. The second one I'm going to bring is Adobe. And the reason I'm bringing Adobe is because it'll make Coach Christian very happy. He (laughs) hates Adobe, okay? A little bit more volatility in in Adobe. It's already went from 700 down to 500. 500 is a major, major support level. We already broke through the double bottom analysis at 550. You're walking down the stairs. You're currently at 500. Look at the consolidation over the last couple weeks. When you look at that on a daily chart, Look at that pattern there, clinging on, clinging on to 500. You break 500, you're looking somewhere around 470 as the first support. Secondary support would be in the 425 by 430. Once again, major, major, major support violation. And then the third one. I rank that an eight. I like that. I mean, I, 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 I like it. Just, right. It, I it, like it. it too. That's a clean. That's okay. Clean. The third one here is Arista Networks. Here, let's look at the daily chart first and foremost. Excuse me, I put on the weekly again. Let's look at the daily here. This is a traditional head and shoulders formation on the daily chart. You have the left shoulder followed by the head, followed by the right shoulder. Violation of the neckline would have been. You would think it's one twenty. It's not. It's not. The neckline was actually right here at 128, which would put T1 at 120. This would actually be the second pattern within the bearish downtrend in a net and a major, major support at 120 violation. Guys, uh, legitimately, 
nothing legitimately yeah, that's a gap nothing field waiting to nothing mm-hmm. nothing it's a wasteland there is nothing here it's literally full of nothing 100 makes some sense here to me on all three charts your benevolent king gives you the permission to make some money as a bear okay. while your bull trades are getting pounded i agree love all violations here now goes without saying all of these are very aggressive growth based in the tech space and they've held up in the face of it to a certain extent against the backdrop of what other stocks have done Mm -hmm. i kind of have a feeling it's just these stocks turn it's just these stocks turn and so i don't love all three together because obviously they're correlated right Mm -hmm. out of all three of them and i do like all three of them i do feel and this is my official pick after i've went through it is ASML, the M formation, the lowering of support, the violation of 700 and literally 600 by 100 on the weekly chart. It might take some time, but I love the violation here. Chucky, I already got gotcha. you. Once again, what time is it? Is it in this market? Like it These might are take weekly time, like, charts. You know, it takes fact, time. Like, I go to lunch and the thing's triggered, right? You know, in nine minutes. So yeah, I, that, I, well, no, I, it I could like trigger all, today. That's, I think uh, yes, it could, are, tr- it could trigger today. I think all three. If some, you know, if I had a student, they said, "I'm doing a bearish trade here," and I'd be like, "Good pick, good pick, good pick, good pick." Good pick. Yeah, so, those are all like, nasty. But I, like I agree with you, Maddie. The best, that, but I like, the, I like the best too. That last, what was the last one you gave? The last one was Anet. That just feels like a gap fill waiting to happen. It, it feels like, like it's a oh magnet to 100. It like, does. That just feels like a gap. Well, all right, Frankie, I got two. I'm two for two, bro. You're two for two. I'm well, two you've, for insp- two. you've inspired me to get my bear uh, out there. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm oh, going to go. Way, in, uh, the uh, ASML, it's not my favorite bear. That's coming up. Uh, I know. Well, it was ASML was my favorite bear. I almost was tempted to steal yours because I know who yours is. You gave it away when you made your little comment a minute ago. I, I should but, have uh, gave it away. I'll let you keep that one. Listen, uh, because, not a uh, lot listen. of people got it. But, you know, uh, yeah, I, I know you. I, yeah, I, I spend too, way too much time talking about this stuff. I, with you, I so hit things gotta, all the time. Yeah, I know, your, I know your, your tricks. Uh, so I'll go with Stone, S-T-N-E. Okay, let's look at this, S-T-N-E. Oh, low base weekly consolidation. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have much to add to what you just uh-huh. said. You know, a low base uh, consolidation at that old, you know, after just kind of breaching that low point post IPO, hanging by a thread. Maybe they won't break. Maybe this will be the bottom and they'll break back above the 50. Ironically, I would call this, even though I'd be looking for it as a bearish breakdown trade, I do actually have this in my K trade list because if we were actually able to uh, break above break 20, 20 you're targeting yeah, 30, yeah if we we're able to break above 20 i would be interested if this floor holds but since we're on the low end of the floor and the trend itself is to the downside i think that's where the most likely outcome goes nothing below us so i mean you know we're gonna have probably you know lots of ways to to target and good risk to reward nothing crazy here just a breakdown mark on stone yeah i mean there's nothing underneath, right? In a nope. chart like this, like, man, 95 to 14. Uh, I wonder if, how many dips were bought along that way. Uh, not many for very long. Uh, you know, whenever you have a multi-week, you know, I mean, when I get in this situation, that K trade aspect starts to, to develop mm-hmm. for me. Like, for sure. you, know, I, you know, I get a short-term bottoming consolidation. Is this the bottom? Blah, blah, blah. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, in this market support break, support breaks have been money over the last three weeks, man, it is hard to like go against anything, you know, anything along those lines, you know, if, if it breaks support, it is hard to argue against a trigger. So, you know, thumbs up on that one as well. All right. We're four for four, Maddie. Can we Matt, close it Matt out? Stepped away. Oh, he stepped away. All right. You know? All right. Well, if he wants to step away. Uh, I will be happy to uh, give us another one. All give right. us your third pick. All right. I'm going to go with Baker Hughes, BKR. All right. I'll, I'll share my screen. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. BKR. We get off monthly charts. Yeah, the, although the, you're not going to hate I'll, the monthly. I'm not going to. Uh, first of all, I maybe I don't want to get off monthly chart. You know, yeah, you're not going to hate the Let, monthly. Let's see. I'm dealing with a year long breakout. All right. 
that's got me here let me do your analysis okay let's see what you got for me i got you i was so i got clear out on the monthly chart do 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 oh there's that bkr matt see if he gets back here well i I saw that month dude i'm back they can't stop me what are you talking about i saw that i saw that uh uh, Frank has started his third round in your absence, Matt. So. Yeah, you stepped away, and I, I was like, "All right, let's do it." All um, right, what do you got? What's we're talking third Baker Hughes, BKR, BKR. Oh, excuse me, BKR. Mm, nice. So we're going through Mark actually on the, on the monthly chart when we started, uh, but uh, you know we oh, can go to the, which is we what I always want to do for course. a swing trade. Well, yeah. that's just where he was started. I'm at. kidding, uh, but there is you know not a lot. We've Clear gone through though. a lot yeah. of yeah, great know, things it. on these guys. Uh, I think the weekly tells a great great picture. I mean, we're breaking through an so old. So did they have earnings today? Bottom. They did have their earnings. They did. Their earnings are now officially behind them. Well, just take out these tops. We'll call it just a little north of 28. Uh, as I'm looking at this thing, it's in an area that you know is, has held up, right? With the within the energy space as an oil field service company, uh, they've been maybe lagging overall, but they've certainly been participating uh, to uh, to a certain extent. I look at these guys, Maddie, and I know you. Hey, we'll look at 30 for a first target, but we really mm-hmm. have a lot of room beyond that. And because earnings are behind us. I tend to be, you know, a slow swing trader. So, you know, I would target them a little bit more aggressively, but I know not everybody, you know, shares that methodology. I personally would target 30 because that's just what I think 30 is the new 20. Um, But also, I mean, once you get above 30, though, like there's really nothing stopping until you start working into 36, 37 here. Um, I like it, Frankie. I like it a lot. I think this has position style written all over it at above 28. Yeah. And that's kind of what my, my general approach is, you know, as you know, a personal approach, I'm kind of somewhere between a swing and position trader. At least yeah. that's how I define myself. This was my favorite setup that I found today as I was going through my scans, love the reversal, love the risk to reward. And while so, I agree 30 is a good first target, I'm looking going into the 34, 35 range over, you know, more of a position style type yeah. of trade. And, and I certainly can't disagree with that. 36 makes sense on the weekly chart, quite frankly. Um, Chucky, did he get you? Oh, yeah. I mean, I looked so, at the monthly so, chart. And I was so like, in this terrible, terrible market that you literally started today off with, like, Scrooge McDuck married, uh, married uh, uh, what's the dude from uh, the Christmas one? The Grinch, right? Yeah. So you're a combination of Scrooge versus the Grinch, and all of a sudden we're five for five? Yeah, like dude, this is, this is a good start. I like it. Yeah. All right. Can we go six for six? Can we have a perfect game here, Frankie? We'll see here. We'll see. I, I, we'll see. I like your chances. I know but, what you're bringing. And but, I'm gonna, but he's but, Mark, and it's a bear. If you, and I'm talking to you out there in YouTube you, line, If this is a bear, you set the bear standard I, I, really I, I, high. I'm a bear. I'm, I, it, listen, I, I know what I did. You set the standard <laughs> really high. I know what I did. I did. I set it at a 10. I'm going for an 11 here, brother. I'm going for an 11 here, and I'm bringing you. An 11 is I actually take the short. I am. (laughs) You might take that $700 break. I know it. I'm going with upstart here. And I got to stop talking because the more I talk, the lower the price is. I love the violation. Let's first start with that. I love the violation here of $100. It is the most significant whole number in the marketplace. And you know the old joke, 90 goes to 100. Well, it works the opposite side as well. Violations of 100, we like to go down to 90. Let's first start on multiple time frame analysis here. You got a weekly chart that just has not caught a bid in months and months and months and many more months. It has just fallen through. Mark, you talked about how stocks in the pandemic, how they got bid, 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 and they cannot catch a bid. Well, Upstart fits that. And if you think the pain is over, go ask Peloton investors if the pain is over, guys. You think it's a low price? Market has a lower price. Remember what I said earlier today, guys, the low price is book value of zero. Upstart isn't that. 
we can see this stock easily going lower. 90 makes sense to me like I talked about, but with the recent technical analysis violation of 100, I actually think you're looking lower than 90. I think you're looking at a first target around 85 with a second target. There's nothing here, guys. I got a target technically. That's all the way down to $50 here. So once again, if you think the pain is over simply because it's went from 400 to, to 100, wrong. Markets can go down lower, far lower than anyone here can imagine. In fact, Mark, did you know during the dot com, excuse me, subprime market crisis, the IBT dot 50 didn't have one stock go up in those years, not one stock, and the average drop in price was 68%. Five stocks of the, uh, of the IBD top 50, their biggest and brightest best stocks, 2008, five of those stocks, Chucky, 99% decrease in valuation, 99 you wow. think it's went down too far? Mm -mm, it hasn't. I promise you price can't go lower than you assume. That's why I don't fear this at all from 400 to 100. I love the violation here of 100, and I do think 85, 84 makes a lot of sense. Violation against the support, uh, support level, significant whole number. I like a short on upstart. God, I liked me, it man. this morning a lot better. Yeah, because before I started talking, it was at 98.75, and you, you know, know, I got like chased a little bit now. You know, listen, it's like we all find it when we find it. Nobody was scanning with me at eight o'clock this morning. And I, you know, the thing is, you know, and, and I, I'm by, I'm going to have to recuse myself because I like Upstart, the company, and it's on okay. like my watch list of things to buy. That makes one me want to short it more. You know, you know, so, I mean, this is on my list of things to buy one day. Uh, I like Upstart. Can I ask you a question? Uh -huh. Do you like it enough to buy it for me right now? Uh, no, I'm not <laughs> doing No, are you kidding? I'm not an then idiot. Then short <laughs> it. What are we talking about? Oh, I Make don't know. Listen, you know, you have, yeah, uh, listen, this is all This is all I need. I got a guy saying, I like Upstart, but no, I would never buy it right now. That's why we're shorting. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, that, I mean, there is logic there, like because like buyers out there, there are buyers, yeah, but those buyers are on the sideline where the sellers are selling. Yeah, you know they're being patient. Yeah. They're being patient. So you're you're right. I would never sell a naked put in. Like I didn't have okay, to learn let, that. Let one. me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, Chucky. Let's let's find let's uh, let's find how bullish you really are on this. Well, I actually looked. Okay. Would you sell a 75, oh yeah, 28 day contract? Oh man, you can collect premium at 75, Chucky. You can get no, 450, I, 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 hold on, $455 against 705 buying power. Oh man, you can get just, you can make mint. Would you sell a 75 contract 28 days out, collect 60% premium against margin? No. Then you like the short. No, I, I, I would not do that. Like, it, 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 I mean, an earnings might probably even fall in between then. Um, I'm not 100%. Mm, I think sure. earnings is mid Feb, I want to say. So, oh, 15th. The so, 15th. So, no. that, yep. that, that, yeah, there's no chance I would do that. You know, like, you know, like, listen, I'm Upstart with you, though. And I agree with you on that. Stocks on my stock, which they will develop patterns. I don't know if they'll develop patterns at 96 or 36 uh you know so or 16 you never know right but you know? what you do know is they've never developed it at 96. Nah, like i will yeah no i mean right? I, that's I, that's listen, what you do know i would never take a bullish trade even on a low yeah. I, I i wouldn't like go get like 40 cent credit frankie for, like, his uh, waffling i'm still declaring victory uh, of you know? course you are and yeah. you should you mm -hmm. should thank you uh, he, he put up no resistance. That is whatsoever. six out of six tackle yeah. trading. Nice work, Maddie. Those are some six nice charts. Out of six. There, See, I mean, there's guys, that, even that. in the garbage of the market, you can still find great trades. But once again, even great trades and volatility can get blown out of the yeah. water. Very important to position size appropriately. And in this market condition, if you're not position sizing according to risk threshold for you personally, you might want to make a little bit of an adjustment there. Cleanliness will come back. Consistency will come back. Let's not fight the volatility. Let's pick and choose our our, our areas of the market. But I liked it, Frankie. I loved all your picks. I, yeah, I liked I, yours as well. I wanted to still. I, I wanted honest, to still upstart. Uh, I won't lie. Dude, I love. I love that upstart. So that's it's a, got some. It's got some good momentum building coming into it. For sure. For sure. Yeah. That's uh, and that was fun. That was fun. That yeah, was Mark, way fun. I don't know if we're going to let you back as a judge or not. Matt and I will discuss it privately. 
I uh, gave you we'll like approval you. on all of your things. Yeah, we, didn't, uh, <laughs> we wanted we, didn't, we wanted more. We wanted more enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, we wanted more cheerleading. We were looking for cheerleading. Judging is what we were looking for on that one, but we didn't get it. 